with some Saturday NBA action brought to you by 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. On the sideline, David Aldridge. Well, Mike, this one should be interesting. Always a special night when we get to see two rivals go head-to-head. -head. Especially when it's within the same conference. These teams know each other so well. Going to the second and third option might be necessary tonight because they know what's coming on that first option. Mm. But can we keep the execution going, getting to the second and third options to get better shots? I love it. We'll be looking for that. And so the Milwaukee Bucks get the first points of the ballgame. Here he goes. Campbell shots good. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Here's the dude. Drills it from outside. The dude's got five points so far. Clearly, he's found his rhythm early in this one. Looking to score whenever he can, whenever he has it. And this team encourages him to be active on offense because they understand how dangerous he can be. Now, here's Malone. Yep, that one goes. Sharing the wealth, Moses Malone, more than just a score. We play just over a minute here in the first. Passes it to Brewer on the wing, Johnson. Back to Brewer. Now here is Moncrief. Clock at four. Over Campbell. It's rebounded by Malone. Boy, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Here's Stewart. Rebound, Milwaukee. I'm sure he's upset right now. He had a space, had it all lined up, but just couldn't convert on the mid-range jumper. Here's Moncrief. Pass to the dude. Tries it from 19, and the bank shot is good. He's got seven. This is just solid offensive awareness. Moncrief sees the open shooter and knows to get him the ball. Stewart passes to Malone. And that's going to be a travel. Here's the dude. Against Indiana, he was really on his game. On the wing. And another basket for Milwaukee. It's so difficult to slow down when he gets that fire in his eyes. Campbell with it. Malone is screen on Moncrief. Here's Campbell. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. A tried and true play for this team. Malone exceptional in the pick and roll. And there's the pass to the dude. Wing shot on the way. That's no good, but just his first miss in five shots. Irving passes to Campbell. Malone at the elbow. Pass to Campbell. And here is Irving. Shot clock at five. Here's Stewart. Here's Malone. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Probably the greatest rebounder we've ever seen. Malone excels at patrolling the offensive glass. Here's the dude. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. His hot streak continues. Night after night, making his presence felt offensively. Stewart passes to Campbell. Malone in the post, covered by Brewer. And then Malone with the jam. What a vicious slam from Malone, demonstrating how powerful he is down there. Pass to the dude. 
Goes up on the wing. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. The 76ers trail by three. Now Campbell. His last outing, he had eight points. Knocks it loose. And it's stolen by Moncrief. Buries it down low. You know, even though he's about 6'4", Moncrief is comfortable looking to do work inside. He's not afraid of anybody in there. And here's Stewart. Pass to Malone. Over Brewer. And it's Malone missing. And great challenge by the defense there to prevent the inside bucket. Moncrief. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. Moncrief's got his second bucket of the game to go. And Philadelphia calls time here. At this early stage of the season, Coach, what did you put the most importance on? Well, just figuring out team chemistry is big at this point. You have to determine which players work best together. Then you can start finalizing rotations. Both teams deciding to change it up. Stewart. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Campbell against Moncrief. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. What a display of agility by Moncrief. Finessing his shot while getting fouled. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the Bucks? Look at the fast break point total from these guys. I mean, they're really hustling, working hard. And those hustle points are showing up on the scoreboard. And also, a great job hustling on turnovers and turning them into points. Defense creating offense so far in this one. Now here's Irving. Hasn't made one yet. And they get it. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Milwaukee leading by 10. Irving with the steal. And now the fast break. Irving with the ball. Here's Campbell. The rebound by the Bucks. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Tell you what, they had that scoreboard singing and dinging, giving them that work. An impressive win without question. Undaunted on hostile ground. From the tip, this team has flexed its muscles and shown its dominance. What a start, particularly on the offensive end. Now, here is Irving. He's coming off a 19-point game against Boston. Also, a great job passing the ball. Clearly, they ran everything through him. And so it's Milwaukee now. After Julius Irving's miss. 137 left in the first quarter. That's tipped. Here's Bridgman. He had 10 points in the win against Indiana. On the pass to Moncrief. Shoots over Campbell, and Moncrief gets it to go. Moncrief's got nine. Right from the start, they set the tone and were the more dominant team. I love how they've looked right from the tip. They're doing an amazing job building this lead. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. The 76ers will go for a different look here. Jeff Turner, Dustin Turner, Clint Richardson. Philadelphia with the ball. It's a 14 point game. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And an easy call for the officials there. Yeah, don't argue that whistle. Pretty obvious. Philadelphia shooting their first free throws of the game. The first free throw is good. Jones checked in for Philadelphia.
He doesn't get the second one. Moncrief, El Sid with it. Jones covering with the second effort. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Nimble play by Moncrief inside the paint. Managing to get past the contact and to a shot. And the 76ers making a change here. Turner's checked in. That's good for Moncrief. The 76ers trail by 16. It's Richardson on the wing. Here's Malone. And then Malone with the dunk. You better really bring it to stop Malone. He's a load. Malone's gone four for five from the floor tonight. Just one miss. Turner with the steal. Fast break, Philadelphia. Up the floor. That's good for Malone on the assist by Turner. Malone's got ten points. Great play that time, finishing at the rack. Always nice to be handed two points. Bridge been the pass to the dude. And it's off from three-point range. 76ers have gone 7 of 15 from the field to this point. Richardson, again, Philadelphia. Richardson. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Here's the dude. He's got 15. And good that time. And that's 17 points for the dude. Knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it. Richardson dishes to Malone. It's deflected, and Malone with the stuff. And so it's Milwaukee going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we'll be right back after this. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exempt. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Stewart finds Malone. Now, here's Stewart. Defense right on him and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. An unfortunate misfire. Just dishing the ball straight out of bounds. Bucks leading by 23. Johnson surveying the floor. Here's the dude. And count it from 19 feet away. The dude's got 19 points. And you know, they aren't showing any signs of easing up. Their offense looks superb right now. They can't get careless with the league. And so far, this hasn't been the case. Inside, Irving's shot is good. Even when you contest Irving's shot, he's capable of burning you. This is how gifted a scorer he is. Here's the dude. And another basket for Milwaukee. He's been a big factor here in the first half. Scoring in bunches. Irving up top. He's guarded by Johnson. Leans inside. A rebound by Lister. Lister's got four rebounds in this game. Moncrief against Campbell. Can he keep it going? And it's in there. He's got 23. You know, their offense has looked a little more tied together, more cohesive when compared to the opposition's which is why they're shooting a better percentage. Yeah, and give the coaching staff credit for how they are guiding this team, getting the guys to run their plays. Moncrief kicks to Johnson. Here's the dude. 
And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. The 76ers shooting just 29 percent in the second quarter. The offense is suffering. It's tipped. Johnson the pass to the dude 13 feet away. It's hauled in by Malone. Malone's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Stewart finds Jones. Hits the layup and for the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Jones has got his second basket. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Johnson, the pass to the dude. A three ball. And Jones pulls it down. And it's Jones with the ball for the 76ers. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Look, there was nothing wrong with the plays they ran, but overall, I thought the offense was just inefficient. Too much wasted action. Yeah, consistency eluded them all night. I think they made lots of iffy selections. Jones. Right now, Johnson is challenging the defense and doing it successfully. They need a new game plan for him. Campbell with it. And it's out of bounds. The 76ers able to retain possession here. Both teams will make substitutions. Substitution on the court. There's 39 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Jones. Here's Thorpe. The slam dunk by Thorpe. Yeah, he's a workman like glass eater. Otis Thorpe ripping down rebounds. A real force on that offensive backboard. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting a scorching 68% in the game. Pass to Brewer. Here's the dude. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Thorpe's got four rebounds now tonight. Jones, the pass to Stewart. Next foul, Junior Bridger. First personal foul, third team foul. Eight seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And it's stolen by Moncrief. Here's the three, and he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. Bucks ahead as they end the second quarter with a massive 16-6 run. From UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena, back in a moment. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. Boy, you like the discipline and patience he's played with through the first half. Never forcing it, always letting the game come to him. Just good, sound, fundamental basketball. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Philadelphia shooting about 42% so far. Stewart with it, and it's Johnson picking him up. Irving, a good-looking shot from the wing. Irving's got his team on the board first here in the second half for Philadelphia. Here's the dude. And the layup is good. You know, I don't care what your lead is or how many points you're up. I think you should always be looking to add to it. Stay aggressive. Yeah, aggressive move right at the rim. Driving another nail into that coffin. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. You know, that's about as good a defensive play as you're going to see. Instant reaction to get a hand on the shot. Beautifully done. Outside Irving. Over Johnson. The putback. It's good on the putback. 
That's classic Moses Malone right there, fighting for the rebound and then going up strong to put it back in. And there's the call on Jones. That is his first foul of the game. Here's the dude, guarded by Stewart, and that one drops for him. And now it's 27 points for the dude. Keep doing work inside. Close range looks like that will keep your lead safe. Stay on the attack. I agree. The defense has to shut the door on those kinds of shots if they want to turn this around. Campbell shots, good. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Here's the dude, and again, it's Milwaukee converting. Well, we know he's got great peripheral and court vision, and he's passing the ball tonight extremely well. Yeah, he's keeping everyone involved and making life much easier for his teammates. Johnson inside, covered by Irving. Johnson, the pass to Lister. Back to Johnson. Lock at six. It's Moncrief on the wing. Shoots over Campbell. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. With how great Moncrief is defensively, any points Sidney gives you are a giant bonus. And Malone with the stuff. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. For Milwaukee, they've gone four for four from the field since the halftime break. Terrific start to the third quarter. Brewer finds Johnson. Here's the dude. A shot missing. Great D that time from Irving. And it's Jones with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's Malone. Trains it with the D all over him. Malone's got six here in this quarter. Making it look effortless. I like seeing Malone stay with his shot through the contact. The dude passes to Johnson. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Here's the dude. That's in, coming off the assist from Johnson. And that's 31 points for the dude. The team first mindset of Marcus Johnson. What a catalyst. Great play there. Campbell against Moncrief. Campbell, the pass to Malone. That one good for two. And what a strong take that was. Just going right at the bigger defender. Finishes like that demonstrate confidence. It should, in turn, improve his after that bucket. The 76ers shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Free throw drops for Malone. Known as being a top-tier rebounder, Malone is a commanding presence on both ends and a very valuable part of this team. Johnson against Irving. Here's the dude. Trains it from 17 feet out. The dude's got 33 points. Nothing wrong with the mid-range J to keep padding to the lead. And they gave him a bit too much space on that chance. They need to tighten up the D. And Campbell throws it down. Putting a little mustard and spice on that slam. Yeah, he did. Well said, Clark. His guys encourage him to go up hard, and he did. And you can see why, given that kind of finish. Here's the dude, and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Oh, the lob to Irving. Irving against Lister. Here's the dude. He has 35. 
And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Milwaukee. They've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggressiveness. They've been pounding any miss on the glass and cashing in on the offensive boards. Uh, I've been impressed with that aspect of their game. Milwaukee making a switch here. Kersey's checked in, and the 76ers also making a change. Thorpe, he checked in for Campbell. Here's Irving, and the 76ers tack on two more. Oh, no, he may have gotten injured right there. He's in a lot of pain. Yeah, he's hurt, has to come out. It's an unfortunate situation. Man. Well, we are all wishing him the best. This game is better when he's on the floor. Now Campbell is checked in for Moses season. Malone. Number 19, Tony Campbell. Here's the dude. He's got 36. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, the way his shot went so wide, pretty obvious he got fouled. Oh, yeah, plenty of contact there. The Bucks have made four free throws from the line and missed two. That free throw missing. Turner's checked in for Philadelphia. And he sinks the second. The 76ers have gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. Stewart up top. Jones in the post, covered by Chris. And there's the whistle, three-second violation. Here's the dude, 37 points for him. And the Bucks miss again. And here we go, fast break, Turner's got it. Here's Irving, the second effort. And he lays it up and in. Irving's got six here in this quarter. With how high Dr. J can get up, he's just great on the offensive boards. Moncrief, the pass to the dude. He's feeling it. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Thorpe's got seven rebounds in the game. Looking to get back on track here. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. So well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy whistle. Shooting. For Philadelphia, they have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. Free throw good, Stewart. So both teams making some changes here. He's perfect from the line this time. Bucks leading by 20. Moncrief the pass to the dude. Poked away. Stewart with the steal. They're running. Passes it to Thorpe. A slam dunk by Thorpe. At six foot nine, Thorpe is capable of these throwdowns, especially when he's given strong inside positioning. Here's the dude. The jump shot from the baseline is right on target. The dude's got 39. Love the energy on his drive. The defense didn't expect that coming from him. Stewart kicks to Irving. Pass to turn. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. You know, I admit there is a little bit of a gray area when it comes to setting screens, but that one was pretty clear cut to me. Yeah, got to have your feet set. He didn't. Easy call for the officials. Pressy's checked in for Milwaukee. Richardson, he's checked in for the 76ers. The pass to Kersey. Here's Bridgman. Pass to Pressy. Launches a three. The dude misses. The 76ers trail by 20. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That is his first foul of the game. In the corner, it's Richardson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Richardson's got his third basket of the night right there. 
a nice sense of when to move the ball and get the assist. And they pick up two. And the Bucks lead by 20. Got it in close, and that just about always helps. Richardson right side. A rebound by the Bucks. There's 53 seconds left here in the third quarter. Here's the dude, and there are the Bucks with another bucket. And he has been dialed in since the tip with his shot. Great output from him so far. Richardson outside. Passes to Turner. Back to Richardson. Here's Iberoni. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the layup. Iberoni's got his first two points of the night. Right now, it's simply the second shots that are killing them. I mean, they've got to do a better job securing the miss after playing solid defense. And it's so deflating giving up a score like that. Work hard to force a miss, and then it's all for nothing. Richardson outside. Back to Irving. A shot, no good. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. And they've created a bunch of turnovers with that terrific D. Right back after this break. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. Well, Clark, they put on a show for this home crowd, playing with a lot of precision and just having their way out there at the end. Yeah, this place was buzzing, on fire. The energy was overwhelming, fun to watch, but not so much fun for their opponents. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Mike Fratello. Clark Kellogg and David Aldridge and our entire 2K crew. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.